Twitter two years ago. I had an opportunity to make a funny observation about David Hayter and thought I was having some innocent lols. The whole thing stank, but I can't help but make an obvious and funny observation. Twitter is a strange place. You can have a deluge of engagement for a simple response to a tweet, or have your more thought out insights go without a single response or like leaving you to feel like you're talking to the digital wall. One of the coolest things about Twitter though is the ability to interact with some of our favorite celebrities from all walks of life. Sometimes it's an awesome interaction as simple as a retweet or a like. Sometimes it's not a good time and your heroes don't quite meet your expectations. Don't ask me why when I saw this photo on a random day in early December 2020 I thought, you know, David Hayter kind of looks like Ricky Gervais. The thought was born of no maliciousness, it was just an odd observation, and when I showed this photo comparison to a few people, they all went, hmm, yeah, it kind of does. During that time in 2020, I was in a lot of MGS groups on Reddit and Facebook, and I used them to promote the Metal Gear content I had made at that point, but I'm a big Metal Gear Solid fan, so I would lurk on the convos and add my two cents here and there. But this was also when the hype around the Metal Gear movie that still hasn't started production was in full swing because Oscar Isaac was announced to play Solid Snake. Badass, right? Well, I kept seeing people on MGS Group saying how bummed they were that David Hayter hadn't been cast in the role of Snake. Now, seeing it a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been waiting for an MGS movie since 1999, and back then, I was even thinking, you know, David Hayter looks a lot like Solid Snake. And he was a dead ringer. He had the looks and the voice and it would have been perfect. But time goes by and people get older and I am a smartass. So I took my Ricky Gervais comparison pick over to Twitter and typed out this gem. Everyone wishing David Hayter was cast as Snake doesn't seem to realize that he looks more like Ricky Gervais now than Solid Snake. Don't let your nostalgia cloud your judgment. Now personally, I think the photo comparison is hilarious and it's why I added both Hayter and Gervais especially since both of them are known for their self-deprecating humor. Now I send this out at about 9 in the morning, and I check back about 3 hours later, and I have a new DM. And it's from David Hayter, and I'm ecstatic because I'm like, oh shit, he responded to the post, hopefully he thought it was funny. I open the DM, and it's a one-word message that just says, dipshit. And I am taken aback, so I'm thinking maybe like, it's a joking dipshit, funny haha, -ha, because it's David Hayter and this dude's chill from what I've seen over the years. So being my meme self, I go to respond with the Terminator 2 John Connor, did you call moi a dipshit? Unfortunately, when I went to do this, I couldn't because he had blocked me. At this point, I was shocked. The voice of one of my favorite characters since I was 11 had finally interacted with me and it was to call me a dipshit and block me on Twitter. As it began to sink in though, my friends and I started going, that's a really weird response. Like, I get if you didn't like the tweet or the comparison, but fair enough, just ignore me or block me. But the effort to message me an insult and then block me so I can't respond is really petty. Especially from someone who had 180,000 followers and I had like 60 at the time. Like, was he just sitting on Twitter waiting for tepid criticism that day? And we thought maybe we just caught him on a bad day or something. But then we went digging and we started looking up any comparisons on the internet of people saying David Hayter looks like Ricky Gervais. And surprisingly, there's a few. They're mostly on forum posts over the years. One is a tweet adding Hayter and Gervais as well. Somebody a year before my tweet actually made pretty much the exact same observation on a forum. But the oldest one we could find was actually in a Eurogamer article from 2008, where at the end they say... We also think David Hayter happens to look like a younger Ricky Gervais. And going further, have you seen what young Ricky Gervais looked like? Young Ricky Gervais looked kind of like David Bowie. So if David Hayter looked like Solid Snake when he was younger, and Hayter also looks like Ricky Gervais, and Ricky Gervais looks like David Bowie, and Kojima is a Bowie fan, then ipso facto, Ricky Gervais is Solid Snake. So what's the big deal? Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself with that one. But I don't think I caught Hater on a bad day. I think he just has a weird Ricky Gervais button and I pushed it. And note to all MGS fans, if you meet David Hater, don't mention Ricky Gervais. So thinking the situation was weird, I did the dumb thing of posting the exchange on MGS groups just saying, hey, this just happened. Does anyone else think this is kind of weird? And man, 
I got destroyed in the comments. I don't have the messages that were sent to me and probably the best for my psyche because I got called much worse things than the observation I made of Hater. Get the f up, you little queen. Hey, whoa. They're like, things that make you go. Hey, you, you don't even know me. Wait till you get to know me, then you can hate me, okay? I was of course seen as the horrible evil douchebag in the situation and a lot responded with, how would you like to be compared to Ricky Gervais? To which I responded, dude, I'm bald and I'm fairly buff, so if I wear a white t-shirt and jeans, I've been called Mr. Clean. Do I like the comparison to a cleaning mascot? Not really, but I can laugh at it because it's kind of true. Have a sense of humor. Or, why don't you crucify a guy for nothing? Also, isn't this an insult to Ricky Gervais that being told you look like him is this devastating, horrible thing? He's not Brad Pitt, but he's not a slob. You would think I compared Hater to Ben Stiller's character at the end of Dodgeball, the way people were reacting. And I'd also underestimated how disliked Ricky Gervais is in the States, so there is that too. Why did Ricky Gervais do a series of audiobooks so that the blind could hate him as well? Now, why am I bringing any of this up two years later? Well, because believe it or not, it had an impact on me. I've had you guys asking me to make Metal Gear Solid content since then, and I just don't really have a desire to play the games anymore, in part because I have to hear David Hader's voice through most of them. It's not like I curl up into the fetal position when I hear his voice, but now it's just a reminder of a bad interaction and of someone who I used to think was really cool. I've gone back to play Metal Gear Solid 2 and noticed I skip all the dialogue in the tanker. Like, this is what goes through my head now when I hear the Solid Snake voice. What happened to you, man? Used to be cool. I'm still cool! Nah. You've changed, man. And that sucks, because he didn't create Metal Gear Solid, Kojima did. But David Hayter and his voice were a big part of why it was popular here in the West. So it's pretty hard to separate the Hayter from the Metal Gear because they're so synonymous with each other. Of course I wish my interaction with him had gone differently, but do I regret sending that tweet? Hell no. Come out of your solid safe space and grow a sense of humor and embrace it, dude. People have been saying you look like Gervais for about 15 years now. There's multiple people making the same comparison for a reason. I don't really know how to end this video, but um, I wanted to thank you guys for supporting all the MGS Kojima content I've made. And just know your time, support, and feedback have truly been appreciated. And just thank you for letting me share this ridiculous story with you. And David Hayter, if you're for some reason watching this, no ill will, man. I just wish you could have had a sense of humor. But I hope that this video was at least interesting and entertaining. So I've been your host, Spars, saying stay steezy, gang, in later days.